M0FXP, welcome back to the channel. Let's unbox the Radtel 4B quad band professional transceiver. In the box, we have the charger, the base, it's not USB C, and there's the Radtel radio, belt clip, wrist strap, and instructions. Everything is packaged quite nicely, it's arrived in good condition, and the box itself has also arrived. Uh, in good condition, which from China, quite pleased about that. It is an AliExpress purchase. I think it's about 50, 60 pound. Got your, your label there. Quite a small desktop charger, but unfortunately no USB. It is 12 volt. These are so common, these ones. I can read that. Cool, my eyes are getting bad. But yeah, 12 volt. One amp, I think that is, belt clip, and also a couple of screws there to get your wrist strap on. I'll do that now. So I know that it's it's not got USB-C, but the way they're doing it now anyway, they're just releasing batteries that uh, have, have USB-C connected. It looks like there's a couple of buttons there. Slide it down and 7.8 volts 2000 milliamp hour which is very common and there's all the bands it's not air band but it has 220 350 390 400 480 so it's going to do pmr vhf uhf probably gmrs frs all that kind of stuff and the thing that's unusual about it is actually the fact i'll just turn it on quickly there that it's it's quad quad receive uh, only one at a time but look at the information you get as well battery your ct css signal meter for receive and transmit on top usual budget antenna which actually feels all right the reason you're receiving that already that that station is because it sounds really good by the way and it says mike here as well it's because um it's the node which is in my room okay so to scroll through the different bands just press the exit button i did try airband but no i i, I thought there was it would have been a shame at the, at the price these sell out i think airband would have been good but yeah nice signal meter and look at the top here when you ptt go to 145 m0 fxb you get the the tx at the top there so I they put some nice work into the firmware of this uh, when you go menu, you can turn off the beeps, the ETC, but otherwise it's got your usual list, up and down. There's your step. Squelch. Power, it's five watts by the way. Is that scramble? And it does time out, wide, narrow, beep, CTCSS is menu 13. I know that the DTMF works. See the way it's dual receiving, I've, I've told it to dual receive. But if I'm on the, if I go to the top one and key, see the way it's switching down? And there's a setting there where you can actually decide whether you're going to receive on two of these or four of these, you decide. Also the colors, you can actually choose the, the colors of everything. It's a whole menu there as you go through where you can choose that. Adding memories, you can do that on the fly. I'll do separate videos for that. Language, voice language, Vox of course. There's your color selections. And it is vast. There's your memory channel, shift direction, which is menu 51, 52, 52. And that's the thing, this is the bit, TMR memory, where is it? Not that one. In a minute you'll see the TMR, oh, what's that track? TX track. So a lot to learn about this radio. But I know that the TMR, allows you to select how many bands you're going to listen to at the same or monitor at the same time that's on menu zero so if i go menu look and then we go down look three 
And you can actually change the order of them as well. A bit confusing, but you get the idea. If we go menu there, and exit, then it will only, I suppose you're going to go A, B, C, D. And I did change the colours. It's got quite a few dedicated buttons. You've got, see the blue button, that's actually VFO and channel. So if we go VFO, which is frequency mode, then we can type a frequency. But if we go to memory mode, then we're cycling through different memories. Do that again. So it's called channel mode, isn't it? Looks like I accidentally did save one there because I recognize that frequency. But anyway, that's channel. And then I suppose when you're in channel mode, you could maybe you could just type that in. Let's go. Yeah, you can. You have to put the zero in by the looks of it. The zero one one. There you are. I haven't added any memories, so that's going to affect it. PTT, of course, and then the uh, in the software, you're going to be able to program these function buttons. So let's just go press the top one, short press. That's taking us straight to radio. You have a lot more responsibilities. Radio one here, look. You've really embraced it. You're... You can cycle through or type the frequency. There is a scan button here. Oh, look, it's doing it for the same button. So that's good. Turn that off. You've got the battery voltage on the on the display as well. Hold it down. Okay, not really sure what that does. <laughs> um, that's your squelch off. Bottom function button. Hold it. So at the moment that's just squelch off. And yeah, it's gonna work fine with the software. And yeah, you can choose the knob to turn. If you go back to memory, mode, three, two, two. choose, and then volume. Antenna is the usual SMA con connection. You've seen the battery, good belt clips. I, I like it. Now I, I like it, but because it doesn't do air band, which is such a shame, I think the price should be more under £40, but that's my honest opinion. As a fun radio where you can just sit there, and the thing that does make it a little bit more valuable, I suppose, is the full colour screen, customizable colours. And also, I'll get a call there. And also the fact that you can um, listen to four bands at the same time, one at a time. Bye for now, 7-3.